Hello and welcome to Does It Plug. Today we're gonna check if you can play Crisis 3 on a mobile device. The simple answer is yes, you can. Uh, the good question is, is it enjoyable? Well, it gets to it. You can see how far the technology has come. I tried this about six months ago with different games and it was very far for, from something you could enjoy. Um, I tried it again and it seems it has improved a lot. So if it improves this much for the next six months, this could be actually a quite viable thing. So um, what do you need for this? You'd need a uh, PlayStation controller. Uh, optionally, you need a mount for your phone like this game clip. Obviously, you need an mo um, Android mobile phone and a PC that can run games because the program itself isn't running on the phone itself. So anyone claiming running Crisis 3 on a phone lies, but playing it is possible. So, uh, on the software side, you need a uh, pairing tool on the Android itself. For the controller, you need a software called Kany, or I'm not sure how it's pronounced, you will see it in the description below. You will need one of these cables if you don't want to root your phone. For some reason, it only works via Bluetooth if your phone is rooted. Maybe this will fix in the future, but for now, if you don't want to lose your warranty by rooting your phone, use one of these few euro, dollar, pound cables. So, let's see, in act this in action. So, the, uh, I mapped the thumb the right thumb for the mouse, the uh, left thumb for the uh, WASD keys, and the rest for like cloak, jump, and stuff like that. So, and oh yeah, obviously the right trigger is the left mouse button, and the left trigger is the right mouse button. So let's see, quick match. Start searching. Try to get it a little bit closer. I'm not good at this game at all, and it's even worse on with the controller on a 7-inch screen. No, 5-inch screen? No, I'm not even sure how. 4.8-inch screen, I think. So, let's see. Does it work? Yes. Hallelujah. We'll go with just the basic... Oh, by the way, this is not the final Crisis of course, this is the multiplayer beta going at the moment. So yeah, got sprint as well. Um, we are in hunter mode, so I can't show you the stealth and armor modes, because there aren't any in hunter mode. But I'm gonna be slaughtered in just a second, you'll see. So yeah, it's, it's not perfect. But, you know, the frame rate is, is actually pretty good. It's around, I don't know, it's around like 20, I would say. Easily 20. And the lag is quite bearable. Like, obviously there is there's quite a bit lag between the controls and the actual movements. But it does quite well. Like, it's, it's enjoyable. It's like basically your own personal on live. It also does work on, um, on 3G network, but the lag is really, really high. So, unless you're just like uh, using the auction house from some MMO or just like farming some gold or whatever, boom, there you go. Trying to bring it a bit closer so you can see. Um, the next step is actually to do voice commands. I haven't implemented it yet, but in theory, in my next update, it should be possible to um, just say cloak and just cloaks and stuff like that. So, yeah, but the problem with that is that the uh, software that would bring my voice from the phone to the uh, computer, uh, it's 
it just closes after a while, like after a few minutes. So it does work for a few minutes, but it's for some reason the, the, the app shuts itself down. So yeah, as you can see, I suck at this game, but the point is that you can use this pretty much for any PC game, not just this one. I'm going to show you a, a, bit, a little bit of Diablo 3 with the same stuff, which is quite interesting because you wouldn't be playing Diablo 3 with a controller anyway, much less on a tiny screen. But again, if you just want to check the auction house or just, you know, like grind monsters on like the lowest power level, um, it works. It does fine. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Um, you can see how to set this up shortly after this video. And you can see all the links below what you need for this. Again, this is not something that I would recommend to use, but you know, it's really cool to just try it out if you have a phone and a controller and stuff like that. And just to see how it works, cause I'm pretty sure this is the future of gaming. Well, as promised, playing Diablo 3 through an Android phone with a PlayStation controller, which is definitely not meant to be. So let's see, um, obviously the binds are different. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, left click, right click, click. Uh, mouse, inventory, uh, no, this is inventory, town portal, basically everything you need. Um, it is tiny on this screen, as you can see, but again, like Crisis 3, it runs pretty well. So let me just demonstrate. I'm not even sure where I left off. I'm supposed to do something here. Ah, yeah, back to the old ruins. Now I put it a bit far further away so you can see the buttons. So yeah, main attack, once it gets some rage, it does lag a bit at first, but it gets better over time, just the first few minutes. It's actually, I think that's actually the game itself, it does, has nothing to do with the um, streaming software. Yay, I died immediately, thank god this wasn't my hardcore character. So yeah, you don't want to play Diablo 3 on your mobile phone because you will die horrendously. But, you know, if you just want to have some fun while you are uh, on a trip or something, um, it's pretty cool. You can also check the auction house, it does work pretty nice. I'm not sure how Blizzard relates to stuff like this, so you know, like since you're emulating the mouse itself and the buttons, I'm not sure if if you know their security systems okay with that. But you know, honestly, I had to give it a go. So yeah, that's this is Diablo 3 playable on an Android. So thanks for watching, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I might put up some more videos where I connect things that are not meant to be connected. Have a nice day!